My name is Awad. And my name is Lewis. Okay, today we're going to make a toggle switch, which is that. Okay, the, the materials is wires, which is, yeah, a motor. This part turns when there's a battery right here. Tape, scissors, a, a car stuck. Batteries, cardboard, and a bulldog clip. And the three fasteners and a rubber band. Okay, okay to, now we're gonna show you how to make a toggle switch. Okay, first you take the card stock, then you take a battery. This I think is gonna this is gonna be the back of the toggle switch. So you put the battery on one end of the cardstock and then you take the fasteners from take the fasteners put a hole in it from the other side of the battery so okay there's okay, the fastener put the battery we're get, we're making a battery holder right now Okay, so then you take another fastener and put it on the other side of the battery. Okay, and then we already got that part done. So now the battery fits in between those two fasteners. Now we take some tape so, as you can see, the battery doesn't run away. See? Okay. Take some tape. Right there. So it stays. Stays in between the fasteners. And take some. Make sure that it stays. That it's not wobbly and that you don't see the well you can see it but the ends are to the fasteners. You tape it again. Okay. So now it's taped. The two ends are then you're gonna take a rubber band. You're gonna Twist it, and then put the, the put those two ends. The, that, that's it's gonna look like an eight. Then put them together. And then you're gonna put that even tight that tighter rubber band that's doubled on the sides of the fasteners, so it'll look like that. So this is a battery holder. Okay, so as you can see, the battery is. Stuck in the car, the car's um, stock. Car then we're gonna take the wire and put it in one side of one side of the fastener, and make sure that it stays there. Then you take and you take the bulldog clip. And you put the wire on one side of the bulldog clip. One side of those loopy things. This. Yeah. And you make you. sure it's attached to it. To so make the wire go around it. And then a bulldog clip, you then you open it and you put it on the side of the bulldog. I mean, the, the bulldog clip, you clip it onto one of the sides of the cardstock. And then you take the one, one fastener. Another fastener, yeah. And you put it 
right. next next to right in front of the yeah the clip. clip. So when when you turn it on, it hit the paper clip. Then you take the wire and you attach it to the to the fastener. That's the second wire. And then you make sure it's it stays there. And then you put a hole that wire. Put a hole in the cardstock. Just kind of hard with that wire. And we're gonna. Put a hole in the cardstock so the wire could go through and go to the other end. And then you take the motor and then put it. Fasten the red one. The black one. Yeah, you fasten the red one from the motor to the black one that you just put through the cardstock hole. Then you attach, you twist it so it they could stay together. Couple that'll stay for together forever. And then take the black wire from the motor. So and put it on the other side of the fastener from the, the ba battery. battery holder. You want to make the wire a little bit longer. Okay, so it's the wires longer. Then, yeah, you twist it around the other side of the fastener from the battery holder. That doesn't already have the other wire on. And then if you want, you can attach the motor to the take some tape fasten the motor with the tape to the cardstock you could put the tape on the wire just make sure it's fastened if you fasten it. Then you take another piece of tape, do the, the same thing on the other side. Okay. Make sure it's fastened. And then you turn it on. First, if you want to see it, if you want to see the this part turn, you could you gotta make the part, the cardstock, the cardboard part. You could put a little hole in it, and uh -oh. then put it on the motor end, the part that turns. Okay, and then that, and you turn it on. Then you see that it works.